Hi, I'm Dan Solomon, and I'm going to be talking today about a study regarding low-dose methotrexate and its safety that's published in the Annals of Internal Medicine. I'm a rheumatologist and clinical scientist at Brigham and Women's Hospital and Harvard Medical School. And we did this study uh, that I'm going to discuss today because um, methotrexate is a widely used drug all across the globe. About 5 million patients take it weekly for rheumatoid arthritis. However, even after three to four decades of its use, we're still a bit uncertain about its side effect profile. And the story of methotrexate really goes back about three to four decades in rheumatology, but five to six decades overall. And it started in pediatric oncology with Sidney Farber using methotrexate uh, in, in children with pediatric leukemia. It's found to be very effective. And over the next several decades, it moved from dermatology into rheumatology. And my colleague, Mike Weinblatt, published one of the first studies on methotrexate for rheumatoid arthritis. Uh, and in several dozen patients found that uh, methotrexate for rheumatoid arthritis was quite effective. Uh, then over the next several decades, it was used by thousands, if not millions of patients. And we started to learn more about its potential side effect profile. And now fast forward to 2020, and we have a, a study, a randomized controlled trial, placebo controlled, um, with several thousand patients that I'm gonna to discuss today uh, to better understand the safety of methotrexate compared to placebo. This is the Cardiovascular Inflammation Reduction Trial, CERT, which was a trial uh, run by Paul Ritker here in cardiology, and it was run to see whether methotrexate might reduce the risk of cardiovascular events. Unfortunately, it did not, but alongside of the cardiovascular trial, we studied the adverse event profile of low-dose methotrexate. And, and there are several important findings that I want to discuss today. First, the uh, risk of all-cause adverse events was about 30% increased in patients on uh, low-dose methotrexate compared to placebo. So that's an important finding. But they break down to several categories. First, liver function test abnormalities were about twofold more um, common in low-dose methotrexate patients. Uh, nausea, vomiting, and diarrhea was increased about 50% in these patients. Uh, pulmonary adverse events of any type were increased, and the feared allergic interstitial pneumonitis was increased sevenfold in patients on low-dose methotrexate. Um, the, the other um, areas that we studied were cytopenias, like anemia, they were increased, leukopenias were increased, but thrombocytopenias were not increased at all. In fact, it looked like thrombocytopenias were decreased in patients on low-dose methotrexate. Finally, cancer findings. Overall cancer rates were no different in, in the two arms, but skin cancer was increased in patients on low-dose methotrexate compared to placebo. This is not an entirely new finding. It's been observed in several observational studies, but um, this is the first time it's been observed in a placebo-controlled trial. So in summary, we studied uh, the side effect profile of low-dose methotrexate compared to placebo. It was studied in patients who did not have rheum uh, rheumatic disease, and it was studied in patients who had uh, tolerated the drug for a five to eight week active run-in period. And in that population, we did observe some of the expected adverse events. We observed some uh, important detail about rates and risks, as well as risk factors that you can read about in the paper published in the Annals of Internal Medicine. I thank you for your attention.